The defense rests in Jimmy DeMora's trial. DeMora's attorneys today said they had no more witnesses to call. Co defendant Michael Gabor's attorneys also called no witnesses. News Channel 5's Deborah Lee has today's developments, and I guess the jury not in the courtroom today, Deb? Yeah, the jury was not in the courtroom today, so this development will be the first thing they hear when they return next week. And they have a lot of evidence to consider, mostly from the prosecution. No one knows how long the jury will be out in Jimmy DeMora's and Michael Gabor's federal corruption trial. After less than two months of testimony, closing arguments are set for next week, then the jury will get the case. During court proceedings today, DeMora's attorneys implied the former commissioner may have taken the stand if DeMora's state ethics reports were allowed into evidence. But Judge Sarah Leoy ruled against that. The judge also ruled against a defense motion to submit computers and flash drives into evidence from contractor Steve Pumper. The defense said the hardware would dispute charges of bribes made by Pumper to DeMora. Pumper pled guilty to bribery and other charges and testified he made many home improvements at DeMora's home without charge. Pumper also said in court he destroyed evidence to hide his corrupt activity and even threw a computer into Lake Erie. The judge called the defense motion, quote, a fishing expedition. Eight witnesses were called during DeMora's defense and none testified for Gabor. Meanwhile, dozens of people were called to the stand for the prosecution, including former county auditor Frank Russo. And our news team is talking with legal analysts about how they think this case went. Look for all of our reports this weekend on Newsnet5.com, along with a special section on Jimmy DeMora's trial. Deborah Lee, News Channel 5.